It's been a while since we had a channel update. I used to do these every month. It was a thing that I did when I started YouTube where I um, I forced myself to do a, a monthly update. Uh, one, because I was, I was uncomfortable sitting in front of a camera and talking to it. Um, and two, I thought it would help me sort of like build the channel a bit. You know, every month I came in with a different idea. What am I going to do this month that's going to be a little different than last month and and try to sort of build on some ideas. If I didn't like them, I dumped them. But if I kept, I liked them, I kept them around. That's where Free Games Month came from. That's where Roguelike Month came from. Um, I don't know what else I had. But the, I had several things that came up because of these monthly channel updates. Last time I had a channel update was like a year ago or something, maybe even longer than that. So we're going to have one. I've been doing YouTube here for 10 years. 10 years in one month. No, 10 years in two months. Oh, how time flies. So I thought we would have a channel update. We'll talk about some things. In those 10 years, I have 173,000 subscribers. I've hit 82 million views. Um, that's a, a crazy thing to think about. And so we're going to talk about some of those things. Um, we'll talk about like how things, where things were, what they are now, and things that I'm thinking about and what I'm doing here for future things because that's what I do for channel updates. Um, I've had a few questions, a couple questions anyway, caught talking about some things that I have done, and um, this is a good place to answer them. So, um, anyway, if you're here live with me, feel free to ask a question. Uh, I will answer as best as I can. Um, but we'll start with like what, you know, what I started, just this sort of a hobby thing, do Let's Plays, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I would... Um, Eventually, I started sprinkling some live streams in there, and and I really liked the live streams. The live streams were fun. They were longer videos. Um, not only the longer videos mean – this was like, what, four or five years ago or so. I started getting more live streams in there. I started just putting the whole stream up on YouTube. Two-hour video. Crazy. Someone who's going to watch a two-hour video? Well, I do. Um, and so I thought I'll just throw them all up there. They're a lot more fun for me to do, and they were getting – Better views. They're getting, of course, longer views, and longer views means more money, and so they are paying better. Um, but I, I, I noticed that even, even with like a twenty-minute video, like I was doing with like a let's play or whatever I was doing, and then a two-hour video of basically the same thing, I, I, I challenge myself to to fit my usual twenty minutes in that first two hours. So someone who doesn't want to watch the whole two-hour video, they can watch still twenty minutes of it and get an idea of the game, and then I just play and have fun. Um, I noticed that folks were not only – were like the percentage was was longer. So not only were they watching longer, of course, because it's a longer video, but the percentage was longer. People were watching longer. And I, and I, I kind of – I think I figured it out that I, I enjoy doing this more, and I think maybe that shows. Um, and so what I do now, as of a couple of years ago, I basically just do my recording sitting here with a live stream with you folks that are here now. Um, and – I enjoy it, and I've been enjoying it for a long time. So uh, I, I, I want to get make sure I say this. Thank you for those of you that have, have been here for the 10 years or however long. Um, in 2020, that's four years ago, like four and a half years ago now, I um, I quit my my part-time job that I that I had basically worked down. It was full-time at one time, but part-time. And I, this has only been – my only job has been YouTube for the past four years. Thank you. Uh, as much as I, I, I love my Patreon, my YouTube members, my Twitch subscribers, the you know the, the ones that just that watch, you know you're the, they're the important ones, right? They're the ones who keep me doing this. Um, thank you. So, um, what I do now, and what I'll continue to do for either ten days or ten years, who knows? It's YouTube. Um, I do the five streams, basically five-ish streams a week. And in those five streams, I do usually a little quick look at a game, maybe a demo or something that's a little bit early build, 20, 30 minutes, usually longer than that. Uh, and, and then I'll do a longer one of a game just playing and enjoying it, which is basically my my Let's Plays. So a, a, a five-episode Let's Play, six-episode Let's Play is basically one of those two, three-hour videos. That's kind of how I've evolved things, I suppose. Um, and by doing that, I've got basically about about 10 videos a week that I'm doing here live. 
Where do I put those 10 videos? Well, we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, so I thought we'd, we'd go over, we'd look at some stats, 10 years of stats. Everyone loves stats and numbers. Um, and then we'd, uh, we'd go and we'd look at um, some of the other things, the new things I'm looking at here. Um, yeah, some of you have been here for a long time. Harley was a bit late running across. Nope, but the streams are fun. I agree, Harley. They are kind of fun. Joe Bird, six years. <clears throat> um, you know, I, I think I've talked about this before, but when I started doing this, my very first thing I ever did was um was Master of Orion. Master of Orion one. And I did two night I I actually streamed first. I streamed on Twitch. And I put those videos on YouTube. And I streamed first and someone was watching while that stream went on. And I, you know, it's, it's exciting. Someone's watching. And I came I came back and I streamed the second day and they came back. Looking back on it, it was probably a bot, but still I, I was it, it was it was exciting. Um the thing that I think I would say kept me going with this hobby and what made it fun was when I did this XCOM series a very long, long time ago, the original XCOM, um, I had a commenter, Dark Angel. I've mentioned Dark Angel before, um, who would comment on every single one of my videos. I did like a, I did like a 60 episode let's play of the original XCOM. Dark Angel was there every time. And he wasn't just like, good video, Nook. Well, I wasn't Nook back then, but good, good video, Neptune. Um, he was like, like he, I knew he watched the video because he was like commenting on the video. So if you find someone, the, the moral of the story is, if you find someone that you like that's got a small little channel just starting out, comment on their videos. Um, and you, you, it, It's the biggest thing, the biggest thing. Thanks, Dark Angel. Um, a, anyway, where, where was I at? Um, I don't remember where I was. I got sidetracked. Uh, okay, let's look at some stats. Let's look at some stats. <clears throat> is this the same hat I wore on my tropical beach of my cruise? No, you know what? I, I Right before I started the stream, I looked for that hat. I can't find that hat. I've got like five. I've got a black one here. I got a, I got a gray one somewhere. So I wear them out of the house. And then they, and then usually they kind of, if they make their way out of, into the living room, they're probably out there somewhere. I couldn't find it. So it's out somewhere. So no, this is, this is my blue hat. That's the black hat. I like that one better, but whatever. Um, so we're gonna look at some stats, and we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll explore a bit. So um, I've got it listed. We'll look at my my most popular videos here in ten years. Number one, World Box, World Box, World at War with one point two million views. I have two videos over a million. Uh, number two is Dwarf Fortress, and this is actually a new one. This is one I did when Dwarf Fortress came out, twenty twenty two, and then uh, a Dwarf Fortress tutorial is number two, and then number three. Is a Dwarf Fortress tutorial. <laughs> I should do more of those, I guess. Uh, then, then we got more World Box. Yeah, Dwarf Fortress and World Box basically took over a lot of 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 my channel. Um, I never really had like a an explosion. Um, sometimes you'll see someone who posts a video, and all of a sudden that video does really well, and then the, and then YouTube likes it and pumps it out. I didn't really have any of that. I I was just sort of slowly growing over the years. I had one little surge um, around like twenty. 18, 2017, when I played Starship Theory, I did a like a I did like a 20 episode Let's Play of it, and that first video did really well. Um, and that was a that was a that was a good surge. I had like in a few months, I'd gained I went from like 8,000 to 20,000 subscribers or something like that, somewhere in there. Um, what's that? Oh, 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 that scream reminds me reminds me of. I uh, I heard this story about about the lead singer of the Knack. Apparently, he was sitting in a bar, and someone stole his beer. <laughs> Hold that laugh for a second. I'm not done with the joke yet. And he looks over him and he says, "Hey, that's my my, my Corona." <clears throat> I apologize for that. Thank you, Captain Zenu. <sighs> anyway, anyway, so yeah, dwarf. <laughs> Where was that? Dwarf Fortress and World Box, big times. Universe Sim, this is one of those ones that YouTube just like really like to show people over and over again. Universe Sim, it loved to show people that, that video. Um, there's just a lot of Dwarf Fortress, a lot of World Box. World Box for a while, uh, like 
it was it was big time. It won World World Box. And look, Classic Civ, my very one of my very first videos, 2014, September 16, 2020. I started in I started on uh, August 28th. So less than a month after I started, this Civ 1 video went bananas. It went bananas long after that posting. That posting got like 20 views. I, I remember getting so excited because I had a 100 view video that I put out. Um one of those XCOM videos. And uh, anyway, it showed up later. But look, world box, world box, world box, world box, so much world box. I kind of milked the world box thing a little bit, uh, and rightfully so. Uh, Dwarf Fortress. And look, more, some more Civ. There we go. Uh, and then we get into like Star Sector and things. But there's there's the um, there's the, the the big ones. Mirthwood, which is one I just recently did. Look at that one. Speaking of, Mirthwood is coming out soon. Um, and then some Haven Hearth, which is also going to be coming out soon. Uh, anyway, so uh, there's there's the top ones. We'll look at um, this is over the the lifetime. I can show a couple of these. I don't ever know what the rules are with like revenue and all that kind of stuff and money making, so I'm going to avoid them. Um, I know that Twitch is like frantic about you showing anything about money, so I won't talk about that. I'll try to avoid showing anything you do. Um, can you sort that by datest with newest on top? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this that's normally how it's shown. Is that so you can see some of the ones I'm working on? Um, yeah. Anyway, um, so there's the views 80, 82 million, and the US 33% of you from the US, but you watch 50% of the time, so the US folks are the ones watching a lot. UK, Germany, Canada, Poland, and those are pretty set, those are pretty much what it is now. Uh, I think US actually might be a little less now than it used to be, but um, UK and Germany is always way up there. And uh, a million of it from India, a million from Spain, 400,000 of you, Greece, found my channel through a Dwarf Fortress, confident confident with the game due to your videos, I hope you do more Dwarf Fortress in the future, I'll always do Dwarf Fortress, <clears throat> always, um, and then, uh, oh, was that the one I, oh, okay, so that's, that's, that's geography, and then we've got, so you can see, the, you can kind of see here in, right about, yeah, 2017, that's, that's where, um, Starship Theory. So I was kind of trucking along here with what's that, maybe a thousand views a day or so, somewhere in there. Yeah, pretty much. And then Whammo. We got seven thousand views in one day. Oh my. Um that was with that that Starship Theory. And that, that kind of kicked everything off to where everything kind of like bumped up to that level, I suppose. Um yeah, Poland's high. A lot of Polish folk watching. Uh, okay, so cities, Polish folk. I notice uh, um, when I watch, when I do a lot of like XCOM, like those turn-based strategy games, I always see the Polish numbers up. Whenever I look, I look at it a while back. I don't know about now, but that's how it used to be. Uh, uh, cities, cities, number one city, UK. Barely, London, uh, New York is is next. New York watches longer. Uh, who's in the, Dallas? Huh, excellent. Anyway, there's cities. And then we can go to age, which is uh, it's about the same as it's always been. And reviews should be adjusted to country population size, too. Do you see a viewer from North Korea? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Melbourne third. Look at that. I got two Australia's third and fourth. Look at that. Moscow is is uh what's that? Sixth. There's another Australia, Brisbane. Uh there's age, and then we can do gender. A whole six percent of you are female. <clears throat> That's all I can show you of that stuff. So there there there's the stats of the uh of the uh, of of the main channel, so I've done I've done uh, some. What am I trying to say? I've I've gone through some phases with with uh, with with YouTube. I've I've done the Let's Play thing, you know. Um, I used to do two videos a day for a long time, and then around like I don't know when I changed it 2019, 2020, somewhere in there, I switched over to one video a day, and um, I noticed there wasn't much difference in changing whether you do two videos a day and one video a day, which because of the way sort of the algorithm promotes your stuff. Um, but I started doing this thing where I did a smaller video and a longer video, five streams a week. So I thought, well, maybe I'll do like 
a video every 16 hours because that's 10 videos a week. More videos, that's that's a, a that's not two per day. Maybe that'll be better. Um, not really. And, you know, if you're going to make a life, making a living on YouTube, you got to play by the YouTube rules whether you like it or not. And so um, I've gone back to one per day. But I got a lot of extra videos going around because I, I like doing the five streams and the two videos each stream, maybe more. Um, and so I uh, I have a second channel that I made a long time ago. And then we're getting into the future stuff. The second channel I got uh, a long time ago, which I mostly was just putting Dungeons & Dragons stuff on there. And so now, this this channel now is um, D&D stuff and the, uh, the, the other things. Um... These other things that I'm putting in there, I I, uh, I started doing this because um, Space Log is a good example of of why I post more stuff over on this channel now. Why this is that channel for that. Um, I, I I know that Space Log will do really well when I post it on the main channel. I know that video will do really well. Rimworld like in space, I, I know it's going to do well. It's like Starship Theory, um, but it's not quite it's not quite ready yet. Um, and so when the video when the game gets developed more, then I'll put the video on the then I'll make another video and put it on the main channel. It'll do well. And so this gives me an, a way to show basically everything, hey, all the games that I do. I get to put them over here. Um, so you know whether it's like uh, it's not it's not really ready for the main channel, or because they've got to play by like the YouTube rules of if you have a if you have a bad video, like you've got a video that will you know it's not going to do well. Um, like this channel update. <laughs> um, and if you keep doing more and more of those, then YouTube kind of punishes you for it. You put out a, a bad video, the next one in line isn't going to do as well. Just just the way it works. And then the next one in line doesn't do very well, the next one's not going to do very well. And you have to sort of work your way back up. Um, and that's just kind of how YouTube works. So sometimes I'll have a game where I'll, I'll want to play that I'll... I'll uh, this looks like a good game. I want to play it. But I know it's not going to do really well. I know it won't do well on the main channel. Um, I think Kingdom's Deck was a good example of that one. Where it was like... It was kingdom building, but it was a lot of cards involved. And um, Zero Orders Tax was another good, another good example of those. Where they just like... I know they wouldn't do real well on the main channel. Um, as much as I wanted to play them. And so they do... They They fit over there perfectly. And so that has that that is now the the I may change the name of this place to Nucrium Two. I haven't decided yet because I started this channel a long time ago, uh, like drawing maps. It was a map drawing channel. Then I then I then I like I don't know what I was thinking. I, I decided ah, I don't want to do that anymore. I'll just make it a an extra channel. And then I stopped doing that, and well, I'll put D and D stuff over there. So this is just extra extra channel. I'm a slave to YouTube. Yep. Yeah, that's the uh, um, that's like the side effect, I suppose, of of making a living on here. I do my best to to like not think about that kind of stuff, but you know, every once in a while, that kind of thing, that kind of thought comes in, you know. Um, but anyway, so that's that's basically my second channel, um, where I've been putting a lot more stuff over there. Um, I got a question. Well, I'll answer this question in a second. What I got? What's next? Nook's joke channel? No. Next up. Next up is Nook's Nook Tabletop, which I have created very recently. It's only like a month old. Um, I I like doing these uh, like map making things. I made a whole game out of it, Map and Imperium. I, I look at these software that are like making maps and building worlds and that kind of thing. They always do really well. Those videos always do really well on the main channel. Um, that's good. However, uh, it's um. Again, it's it's not in the same genre as what my other stuff is, and so I, I feel like it'll do really well on its own. And um, we'll talk about that. <clears throat> I think you have more channels than any other YouTuber I know. I, I, I we're going to talk about that. Um. So anyway, so this is this is kind of, and it is starting to get a life of it. Look, all four videos. The only one is Pirate Borgs at five hundred views, but five hundred views with with I haven't really promoted this any. This is it. Um, but, um, I just have a feeling this will do, this might go somewhere and you know, it, 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 and with the YouTube thing, you gotta have your hand in different pots or whatever the saying is, I don't know. Um, 
And it also, like, it gives me an excuse to go a little bit deeper into the nerdy map building things. Like, I, I've, um, I was talking about this a little bit on Discord where uh, I got that Tiny Glade. I was playing Tiny Glade. And wouldn't it be neat to, like, make a whole city out of Tiny Glade, like a D&D map out of Tiny Glade? I think that'd be really neat. But it, that video would do bad on the main channel. But it would do really well over here, I think. So that's that's kind of what's what that's what I'm thinking about this. Uh, and the last is my travel channel, <laughs> which I wasn't going to promote this. Um, actually, I didn't make this. I made this channel just for family and friends. Uh, it wasn't a thing to like show off to everyone. Um, but I've been having a lot of fun with it and sort of learning how to edit and things. And so I've made I made a, a travel video channel. Um I've been. I think I've had more fun like falling down the uh, the how to edit videos um, rabbit hole because I hate editing videos for my my gaming videos. I've always hated it. And um, but when we start, I started doing this. I I started slowly working on it with uh, I did it on my phone with like iMovie and it's just a lot of fun. Um, I I uh, we had a a big year where my my oldest graduated high school, and rather than just like buy him a computer or whatever for a graduation gift. I thought, you know, let's do something cool. Let's go to Europe. And so we did a big video, a big uh, uh, vacation in Europe. And I, I thought we can't just, yeah, like my Pixar. Uh, um, I said, we can't, I can't, I don't really do Facebook anymore. And that's how you keep, um, you keep family and friends, you know, in like in the know. So I was like, well, let's do like two videos. That'd be more fun to like put together and have something to look at later on, you know, whenever we're old because I'm not old, um, and I just had a lot of fun with it, and so I thought, you know what, I'll put it public, and uh, it's been a lot of fun to do. That's, that's again, it's just a hobby thing. I don't think it'll ever get, I, I will be surprised if it ever gets over. I'm surprised it's at 300 subscribers, <laughs> to be honest, but it's a little fun thing. Um, I got a question, so I did, I did make a YouTube post about these, um, where I said, hey, I got more channels, um, and somebody did comment, like, how do you keep up with that? How, how do you keep the output going? I don't. Um, the The main channel gets 99% of my effort. Um, the others are just fun. The, uh, the, the, the Dungeon Nook one, which might turn into Dungeon, might turn into Nookrium 2. I don't know if it's T-O-O or T-W-O. I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, that gets the overflow. Uh, the, the tabletop is sort of... Um, it might get a little effort because um, I enjoy doing this. It's, again, just a little hobby stuff, just fun. Um, and, yes, that is my backpack. Um, I love that backpack. I I had a previous backpack, that, I, and I just bought this one because we were going to – side note. Um, so we're going to Europe, and we're doing a lot of flying and um, a lot of budget airlines. Ryanair, you know, play airlines, uh, all, all these cheapos. And – there's five of us, and ain't no way I'm paying for um, us to carry all, like, carry-on luggage and paying for all that kind of stuff. So the rule of the – we spent a month out there. We all got to – we got to pack everything into our, to, into our personal bag, and that's my personal bag. And I found this thing at Target. Best backpack ever. It, like, opens up like a suitcase, and I was, we all got one similar. Uh, my wife's is a little bit more square, so she can fit more stuff in there. Uh, but it fits in the personal item, so we can just carry it on 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 our on our backs, whether we're on trains or planes or whatever. And we packed a month worth of stuff in there, um, and highly recommend. Like I, I I I like to watch travel people. I see these people walking around with like suitcases and like stumbling over stairs with all this like luggage that they've got. Oh no, that's not the way to do it. Get everything into a little backpack. You can do laundry while you're out there. Who doesn't want to see a laundromat in Rome? <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. Okay, side note over. So um, that's what I had for the um, for the channel updates, and um, so that that's that's well, who knows how long this will last because you know YouTube can be finicky and all that kind of stuff. But I'm enjoying doing this and I hope if if I can if I can still be here in 10 years wouldn't it be nice to have that kind of job security this is the um by far the best the best job I've ever had and I want to say thank you again for sticking with me um and uh, uh I um 
I'm loving, still loving doing this. That's all I got. Channel update over. <clears throat> when in Rome, wash as the Romans do. That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> Great way to keep your memories. Yeah, that's a, like we you know we have like um, Google Photos or whatever. How often do you go back and look at your vacation photos? But having them up here, and most mostly having the thing for having them here, so that my like my dad and my wife's mom um, can see uh, see this stuff. Roman baths don't mess around. Funny story. Um, so we went to, well, we were over there. We did like a Mediterranean cruise. And one of the spots stopped in Tunisia, which is the reason I picked this cruise, because I really want to go see Tunisia, because Tunisia is where Carthage is. Um, and I really want to see Carthage. Like, when you have, can you get an opportunity to go see Carthage? So we went to Carthage. And we went to this Roman bath. Um, there's like a city out, there's ruins of a city outside this Roman bath. Roman bath is really cool looking. Uh, you can watch the video. Um, and me and my sons, we came out, out of the, the Roman bath complex. And there's this ruin on the ground of like this mosaic tile, real fancy. And there's like, pil there's like leftovers of pillars, you know, in this big circular area, large area. And we thought, well, that's got to be town square. Like, that's got to be, like, you know, the for, like the form of the town or whatever. Big fancy area. Um, later on, we found out, finally found a sign, and it was the bathroom. So it was a very fancy, very, very fancy bathroom. 